Hey guys, not Monotone Jez here, and as the title suggests, I'm sure you've come here to find out why Trials is trash and Destiny 2. Anyway, as I was saying, Trials this week was so- Oh my god, he just let me finish- The point I'm trying to make is that Trials is starting to look like a flop, and I predicted it was going to be a flop, like, people really thought that if they return a game mode and leave it unchanged, even though the exact same mode already exists in the rotation playlist, all while bringing back old gear as a reward when the game has no other incentive, would save the game? Yeah, I don't know what people were expecting. Like, you know the state of the game is bad, like, have you not seen Crucible? So I'm playing your average game of Crucible, I was using a trace rifle so I can get a bounty done for the bunker, and I matched the 6 stack with flawless emblems with what I believe is a Chinese clan tag, and of course a few other guys were lagging. I mean, how else would you expect people to go flawless? With actual skill? So I managed to get a few kills with a wave splitter, the only usable trace rifle that I had because cold heart and prometheus lens are just garbage for some reason, like they are literally the worst weapons in crucible right now. I was close to getting another kill for the bounty, but this guy managed to slip away at the end, and then I see this shit. Bro, how the hell are you still moving after the game? Like look, this man literally controlling his player after the match has ended. The result screen is up. How are you still moving bro, how do you do that? And the worst part is, I didn't get any progress on the stupid bounty. <coughs> Let's get into why the gameplay for trials and mode in general just trash. Point number one. Point number two. Lack of diversity in the meta. I don't think I need to explain this one. But don't worry guys, Bungie's gonna make a sandbox update to change all this. If you can wait four months for another patch. Point number three. Cheating and bad connections. There's still quite a bit of cheating on console, but the majority of it happens on PC because of how easy it is to cheat there. Like all I see on my Twitter feed. By the way, go follow me on Twitter. Also, join my Discord. Links are both in the description. Are people complaining about hackers and showing videos and clips and stuff like that? It's gotten way out of hand. It just almost everyone's cheating right now. My game froze. Cheater. He's a cheater. Cheater. Yeah, cheater. Cheater. Got fucking shit on. Lee, I'm just gonna leave. Cheater. Oh. It's a, it's oh. an infinite. You cannot beat that. And he's fucking. Ooh. What? I understand that it's a big problem, but it's never happened to me personally, so I don't have a problem with- Get hacked, King. This is my channel now. Don't check out his channel. His channel's trash. His discourse trash. It's full of losers. Ahem. Sorry about that, technical difficulties. Point number four. Bad design for the loot system. There's no incentive to go flawless again on the same character, so people just farm three wins and reset their cards. Point number five, it's slow. Last week we got to experience a freaking disco on Anomaly with all the hard light ricocheting and camping. And just when you think it can get any worse, guess what? It gets freaking worse. Now we got Widow's Cart, a map that I loved in Destiny 1 just like Anomaly. But since Destiny 2 PvP just so inferior to Destiny 1, the map just got ruined. And if you want to know why this week's map sucks, just look at this clip. Bro, how do people even come up with these strategies? I know the coronavirus got people practicing social distancing, but y'all don't need a social distance in the game too. If this is how the maps are going to be for Trials, I really don't want to know what next week's map is going to be. <laughs> oh god, imagine if the next week's map is like Emperor's Respite. I forgot that map even existed. I shouldn't give Bungie ideas, but in all honesty, I feel like these two maps would probably work well better than like the last two maps for Trials, even though these maps are just really bad. I feel like these maps would work best for 3v3. Anyway, you didn't hear that from me. But the reason why the game is so slow is because of the slow nature of Destiny 2. With Destiny 1, the game was faster all around and had a wider skill gap. With Destiny 2, the game was just made for bots. What was that? Disagree? Well, sorry, I couldn't hear you over my hard light, my bastion, my Yoden, my bastion, my mountain top that I don't have, my other bastion. Even the way they changed all fusion rifles from Destiny 1. And don't get me started on Hunters, the most skillless class of all time. Oh my god, I can already see the comments. In Destiny 1, you didn't really need an exotic armor piece to give you a huge advantage, but with Destiny 2, it's all about exotics and the abilities you have. Marking enemy locations, constant overshields, a dodge that can disorient people through walls. What more could you expect? There's no need for actual gun skill, and it shows. What makes it even worse is the team I played against during my Flawless Trials game on Anomaly. That game was a joke. If you look at these guys' skills, you would think that these guys would never even reach 3 wins in a million years. Yet here we are, playing them for a flawless game. Their only strategy was to camp in the back with hard light and wait for us to peek. That's it. Once we found that out, we just waited for the zone and they didn't push up at all. Think it was just a coincidence? The game after that on the same flawless card? I matched these guys! It's okay if we drop this round because they have two supers. It's cool. Good kill though. How did you make it this far? How the hell did you guys even go flawless? There's no way that these people actually went flawless. There's no way. But hey, I got the Trials Ghost Shell that game, so it's all good. T-banging these guys, bro. <laughs> I told you, lie, be toxic. Go ahead. Oh, I got the shell. Yes. Screw those guys, man. They got flawless just by doing that. Point number, who cares because I forgot what number I was at. Trading in Trials. There's no draws anymore. If everyone dies during the round, the win goes to the team member that dies last. 
or that's what I think. And in this case, it's RNG because the servers are dog shit. I've had times where I've won and lost the round because of this, but it just isn't a good rule for the game mode. In the footage you see here, we needed one more round to win, and my teammate who was the last alive ended up using a super to kill the entire team, but died in the process. The game decided to give the round to the other team, leaving the score 4-3 with two supers left on their side. And they had a whole team of arc striders on Anomaly. You can't kill that shit. Another bad thing about Trials is the number of glitches. No, not that one. There's a few different ones, but here's an example from my experience. On our third win with the bonus win passage, instead of giving us just the win, my teammates were also given a loss. Wait, why do I have a loss? I didn't what? lose. Yeah, I have a loss too, bro, what? Hold on, what hold on, back out, back out, let me see too. That's yeah, crazy. why do I have a loss? We didn't lose at all. I don't have a loss. I do. I do. Yeah. Did you guys reset your card? Yeah, I did. Yeah. What? What is this I, for? Yeah, I just reset it again. It's fucking retarded. Why is that for bullshit today? For what? Why are we getting bullshitted like that? I'm trying. I'm trying to make sense. How How many wins do you guys have? Why? Well, I have four. But I had a loss. Yeah, I don't know why it gave me a fucking loss. It was definitely, it was definitely a glitch or something. For some reason, it didn't happen to me. But it wasn't because they forgot to reset their cards. Because if that were the case, we wouldn't be on the same amount of wins. I don't know how many people it's happened to, but it was definitely a bug. Anyway, I've ran it for long enough, so let me get to the point. To conclude, trials bad, crucible bad, fix your game, Bungie. Thanks for watching, and I hope you. What the fuck?